after he's going to get beat up here. All right? So he's going to start to hold his ground. All right? So when I snap, I pull heavy on him, he's going to start to do this. He's going to start to walk his hips back underneath his chest, right? Because he doesn't want to get snapped down. So we're going to work on scoring from that, from that tie. So I pull heavy on him, he comes up, boom, boom. All right? Now, a couple things here. Really important that when I pull him down, even before that, I'm moving now from that quick little, that quick little shiver in front of the mat to heavy hands with a deep sustained pull where I'm working my feet in position to score. All right, so it's a heavy pull here. It's not, it's not a jerk. I'm not hitting him. I'm not clubbing him. It's elbow coming back to my hips and me moving my feet here. Okay, making him carry my weight. Right now. I want to make sure that as I go, as I pull him down, I match his head position, same level, here. A couple reasons why it's better defensively for me if he takes a bad shot, I run around, okay? But also counter offense, or for me to get my shot off, I'm here, right? And he finally holds his ground and comes up out of the stance, I stay low. Alright, so not only do I beat him in positioning, but I catch his momentum going like this. Okay, I catch that guy with his heels. I'm gonna run right through them. Whether you want to go high C or double on the first one, doesn't matter. So I'm here and I'm pulling, 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 and he comes up. Boom. All right, now, I'm here. I want to drive across and run through here. All right, so I'm gonna work on timing. Your setups, majority of your setups are about timing. So I pull, he comes up, up through the tips. You know, I tell our guys, like I tell fifth, or fifth graders, you want to shoot like an airplane taking off. Okay? Don't know if that doesn't get extended, that's how you get run around. I want to work to get my hands up through his hips, he comes up, and I'm running through his hips. Okay? So, working on here. Now, your backhand, you're trying to catch for when you do your high stance. In your doubles, you're trying to catch inside tie. If you don't catch inside tie, you can really pull and get him to reach and extend over here. Run up. Okay, so you got two options. One, I'm in here, all right? And if, he's, if he doesn't grab my elbow when I'm inside tie, I'm just going to pass. One to the corner. Usually guys will grab your elbow when you're inside tie. And that's good, that's what I want. Now I can pull, he comes up, punch, through. heavy and make him reach with it. Let's reach with it. There it is. Up and through. Okay? So I want you guys to focus. We do a lot of stuff out there. But I want you guys to focus on a deep, sustained pull where I'm matching his head position on the way down. Here, here, here. He comes up, I stay low. Up through. Okay? Questions on that? Okay, let's do it. One, two.